We're the Fat Guardians, and my name is ACB the Man, and today I'm going to take a quick look at the Sentinel Titan as presented to us in the Destiny 2 beta. So it is the Void Titan. It super has a shield. It's sort of like Captain America, but you can also put the bubble down in one of the subclass trees. So let's get into it. So first off, we have grenades. We have magnetic, void wall, and suppressor. And I do not know why they took the spike grenade away, but these grenades that he has are very potent in destiny void wall maybe not so much but the suppressor is still there the magnetic grenade is still there the magnetic grenade still explodes twice so in pvp it's the best sticky it's not going to be an instant kill but it's still the best sticky in pve and hopefully for pvp some of these grenades can be buffed but anyways suppressors honestly seem to not do anything in pve for me but they're still fun to use and um they're still probably going to be good in the in PvP, but we have to get used to them. So next up, we have the jumps. So the same jumps as before, just named differently. We have strafe lift, high lift, and catapult lift. The catapult lift actually makes you go up faster, uh, as opposed to what it did in Destiny 1, which is just give you sort of boost, which really didn't do anything. Strafe jump makes you jump faster sideways, and unfortunately, the strafe jump does not activate more than once in the air, so Titan skating is no more. And then we have high lift, which is, you know, Overall, the jumps are almost the same. There's nothing wrong there. They feel great. Next, we have the new class ability, the Barricade. You can either have Towering Barricade, which is just a giant wall, or Rally Barricade. The Rally Barricade allows you and your teammates of any class to crouch behind it for cover, and then when you ADS the trigger, you will pop up and you will instantly reload your trigger. You can have almost unlimited ammo until you run out. As long as you crouch, then pull the trigger and aim, and it will reload your gun automatically. It's not so much cover, but it's good for PvE in my opinion. Now, the Towering Barricade is what comes well for PvP. The Towering Barricade is just a giant wall, and it damages enemies who run through it. So placing it in a doorway or some way that enemies have to run through in PvP is good, because then if they want to get through it without dying they or getting hurt, they have to shoot it down, which takes some extra time and allows you to kind of set up and just allows the game to breathe a little bit more. Um, but I... I think the Rally Barricade d damages them as well. I'm not 100% sure because most people were just using the Towering Barricade in PvP. Next is the Super. Honestly, uh, the Super is the most versatile so far. Mo versatile, I mean um, fleshed out and the things you can do for it. Excuse me. Because you gain a Void Shield. This Void Shield can be used to bash enemies' heads in. Uh, you can ram people with it. You can block incoming fire from a single direction if you hold a specific button. You can throw it throw it, excuse me, to attack multiple enemies at once. So it's both a defensive and an offensive super at the same time. Generally, you only get one shield throw per super, but you can block enemy fire and then throw it when the best time to throw it is. So the two perk bundles are, are very interesting in this subclass. Now, the way that perks work in Destiny 2 is you have a bundle of perks. You cannot pick like, oh, I want this perk and then that perk and then that perk. You have to pick a group of perks or another group of perks. Now, these perks are meant to work well together, so it works, but there's a little less customization in the subclasses in Destiny 2. That's not a terrible thing, but uh, it's not as in-depth as the Destiny 1 subclass customization. Anyways, the one we had unlocked in the beta was called Code of the Protector. So first off, one of the perks is killing an enemy with defensive strike, which is just your melee. It gives you an overshield. We've had that before. Next, you get other melee perks. If you have an overshield from defensive strike, you get extra duration and reload speed and melee damage buff. So uh, they work together. Get a defensive strike kill, get an overshield. It lasts longer, and you have melee damage buff. So just punch everything. Not enough to matter in PvP, honestly, but it's good for PvE, so just shoot everything. Next, melee kills restore health for you and your allies. So punch things, get an overshield, punch things for extra damage, and when you hit them, they restore health for you and your allies that are close. It's very cool. Um, the last perk is what really cements the super as super versatile. Instead of gaining the Captain Titan shield, if you hold the super button down, you get the Ward of Dawn, and you get Armor of Light. I don't know if we're going to have uh, exotics are going to change it into Weapons of Light or Blessings of Light. Who knows? But it is a lot weaker than the older version. You can shoot it with guns to bring it down. Um, so it's not as versatile in PvP. But honestly, in PvP, you're going to be using the um, Void Titan abilities. 
Anyways, and with Armor of Light, you just don't want to rush in there. So in PvE, you can be very good. Drop the bubble down and then punch everything inside of there because you have extra overshield all the time. And just very good. The set of perks we did not have unlocked is called Code of the Aggressor. So to be a little bit more active and not as passive. This takes away the Ward of Dawn ability but lets you have abilities pertain to attack. You get a shoulder charge like ability after sprinting which disorients enemies. So you're going to sprint for a little bit, shoulder charge, get a miniature shield, hit an enemy and disorient them which is pretty good. Um, it's probably going to be your melee charge but that's okay. Next grenade kills generate grenade energy. So get a kill with a grenade, you're going to get your grenade back faster. Don't get a kill, you have to wait a little bit longer for it. Kills while surrounded by enemies give you extra super energy, which is good. And when you super, you can throw two shields back to back. So it's just about getting in their face and attacking them. It's going to be cool, but honestly, I'm going to use the one that gives me the Ward of Dawn because I am a bubble. So that way I can choose if I want to use the bubble or not. So overall, honestly, the Sentinel Titan seems to be my favorite class in the beta. It seems to be everyone's favorite class in the beta. And I know I'll we'll absolutely be playing Titan when the game first launches, but you don't have to. It's not the most overpowered one it just has the most options anyways guys thank you for watching and absolutely click that giant subscribe button right in the middle we're trying to grow this channel as much as we can if you subscribe you get more videos just like this one some goofy some not